Hi, Dave Sandy here with this week's BuzzBite report for the Upper Midwest on anglingbuzz.com. Well, we're getting socked in with a little bit colder weather this week, which will be good because we want to firm up that ice. We're still hearing reports from all around the region here about some treacherous ice conditions, like for instance, down in H&E, Wisconsin. Last weekend, they put 10 or 12 cars through the ice at an ice festival. And uh, just to be safe, the Big Eel Pout Festival coming up this weekend in Walker, Minnesota, has already said there's going to be no cars and trucks on the ice. You can still bring a snowmobile or a four-wheeler out there, but they're going to be safe and keep the weight off of there. Not usually a problem by the time you get to mid-February, but this year has been a different year, an El Nino year. Now, despite all of that, we're getting some good fishing reports from all throughout the region. Uh, very good walleye fishing, good pike fishing out at the Mobridge area of uh, Lake Oahe. You get up into upper Minnesota, You've got uh, good fishing up at Red Lake still for walleyes, good fishing for walleyes out in the humps on Leech Lake, whether you are in the, the big section of the lake, which is shallower, or the deep uh, area of Walker Bay, the humps have been real good classic spots to fish. Okay, if you're going out for walleyes, one of the easiest and best ways to fish is with a moderately heavy jigging spoon, something like this. Uh, they, they may glow, they may rattle but it's something that allows you to fish relatively fast and deep and move quickly. If you're going out for panfish, the same kind of strategy if you're fishing some of these secondary areas and looking for fish, you want to be able to move quickly and there's some smaller spoons uh, that you can fish a little bit faster for crappies or perch. But I will say one thing this year, while, while these spoons are classic tactics, the hot thing that you keep hearing about from everybody this year is tungsten. Everything seems like it's going to be made out of tungsten. You've got little tungsten panfish jigs, little tungsten panfish flies, and what happens is the tungsten is much heavier than lead, so you've got a compact presentation that'll take your baits down quickly into deep water. That'll let you move quickly from spot to spot. They'll punch down through the weed beds to get at bluegills that are underneath the weeds, and so tungsten is where it's at. So if you're looking for one hot product to go out and put in your tackle box this winter, Go down to the tackle shop and look for the word tungsten. You'll find something and you'll pick up a few. Okay. Now, as far as where you're going to go out and use them, uh, check in with our state-by-state -state guide here. See what our buzzbite reporters in the field have to say. And as I always like to say, they're going to help you put more and bigger fish on the ice in the weeks ahead.